Hooty hoo! Uh, Brian? What's that? What's what? That! Oh, this! These are mock-ups of the medals I designed for use with my Gamer Achievement Awards, which I'm proposing to the Gary Jackson Academy of Roleplaying next month. Gamers can wear them at cons under their name badge to show their status. There sure are a lot of them. What do they stand for? For killing the most party members with an incendiary device. During GaryCon 13. For cheating the most fellow party members, yet didn't get away with it. Most creative use of a fireball. Most kills from a single melee blow. Most creative use of sheep during combat. Maximum exploitation of acquired loot, also known as the Dungeon Bling Award. Defeat of a powerful enemy through use of rules lawyering rather than brute force. Most confusing, complicated, or convoluted plot created by the GM. GM with the highest body count. Well, I admire the effort you put into those, Brian, and I wish you good luck in your proposal. That's a cool idea. It could separate the diehard gamers like us from the casual wannabes. Yeah, I bet chicks dig a guy with medals. You guys do realize that you look like ousted third world dictators, right? Hey, screen jockey, these indicate that I'm a 12-year veteran of role-playing games, so maybe you should show a little respect. Yeah, and don't even try to front on my medals for most damage dealt in a single blow. Do you realize what you've unleashed, Brian? Game cons are going to be reduced to guys standing around explaining their medals. Yeah, ain't it cool? I mean it, Dave. One more crack about chainmail bikinis, leather thongs, or plus five halter tops, and I will fuse your face to this tabletop!